What's up everyone, this is Autotagus Tech, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a way that you can automate your Siri shortcuts. So typically you'd have to go to the widget panel and go through all your disorganized shortcut through the widget panel, and it's just going to take some time to find. So rather than doing that, let's just automate it. So let's get started. First things first, we're going to need a Siri shortcut, and this shortcut is basically going to take the URL of any other shortcut that you prefer. Now, I will explain why this is important later, so what you're going to want to do is find the shortcut that you want to automate. So, for example, if every morning you click a shortcut to maybe play the top 25 songs that you listen to every morning before you go to work or something like that, something that you would typically run on a routine or day-to-day -day basis at a specific time, try to pick that shortcut. So for example, I'm going to click a shortcut that basically provides a low power mode for my iPhone. So you're going to go into Safari, put the device in landscape mode, and then paste inside the search bar. Now the reason you want to paste is because of the previous shortcut you ran automatically adds something to the clipboard and that is the URL scheme. So you're going to want to try to continue to paste and click the done button at the same time as the share button. So you can see that once I have the URL in there, I click done and I click the share button at the same time. So I'm going to keep doing it and it doesn't work, but you can now see that as I do it, I get this screen. So it is a bit confusing. All right, so I'm going to do this one more time. So you want to paste the link inside of the Safari search bar. You're going to want to tilt the device and then tap on go and the share button at the exact same time. And you want to keep doing this until it works. If it doesn't work, just maybe try rerunning the shortcut and generate a new link. So keep doing that until it works. And you're basically going to want to tap on reminders. And then you can give the reminders a name and then go ahead and tap on add. So now what you've just done is you've created a reminder that every time it's run, it's going to link to the shortcut. So now you want to maybe customize the reminders that way it runs at the specific time that you want it to. You can make it urgent as well. And so what I'm going to do basically is I'm going to set it for a specific time. So as of recording this video, it's 7 a.m. I think. No, it's 6.53. So I am going to adjust this so it says 6.55. I'm going to show you an example of what not to do, and then I'll show you an example of what to do. So you can have this run every single day if you want. So in order to get this shortcut to be fully automated, I'm going to show you what to do in a second. So basically at 6.55, you're going to get a notification saying, hey, you can run the shortcut. So what most people are going to do is they're going to immediately see the notification and they're going to tap on it. And that is exactly what you do not want to do, right? So as soon as you tap on it, nothing happens. It just opens up the reminders app and it's kind of pointless. But I'm going to rerun the shortcut and set the time to 7 a.m. so that way I can do this for a second time. And check this out. The shortcut automatically goes on at 7 a.m like I did earlier, but you want to force press on the notification. And then from here, it will immediately run the shortcut once you tap on open shortcuts. So pretty much every single day at 7 a.m., you will quickly be able to have access to your shortcut rather than having to find it at the widget panel. And it can just be kind of confusing. So I think it's pretty cool to have like an automated system like this. And you can do this for multiple shortcuts. So thank you so much for watching. And as always, peace.